little side note, okay, before you start stitching, right, you've done your pierced thread and you've got everything ready and you're pulling it taut, before you start stitching, you want to make sure that your wax thread is twisted nicely as you pull, but more importantly, when we start at our start stitch here, and our start stitch here, you want to create this double loop joint, okay? This is what's going to hold the pouch edge together, right? You can see I forgot to do it here, but I want to make sure to point out that unless you want to come back and restitch that double loop joint on the top, you want to take the time and go through your first part of the leather. And then you got to get it all the way to the midpoint, right? So we're at the midpoint. And we're going to then attach to the top stitch of our purple part, right? Bring that all the way down. And this is important. You want to make sure that it's facing the correct orientation. You have the right side out, whether it's the shiny side or the coarse side. That's your aesthetic choice. And then before stitching back and forth through the pouch, right? This is your starting stitch. You're going to go through that loop once more with the opposite needle, okay, one time, okay, all the way through the top, like so, and then you're going to come through the opposite side again with your starter needle, okay. And that is how you want to start your stitch so that you get this signature loop at the top that holds your work together. And more importantly, right, when you cinch this down, it's going to prevent this little tiny edge from wanting to tear out. It's going to give it a little extra reinforcement right in that region. Okay, so once you've got that done, then you can switch right back to the very simple alternating from both sides saddle stitch, right? So you're just going back and forth through all of your holes. And then when you get to the very end of the opposite side, you're going to do this same technique with the double loop for closure, okay? So now we'll switch to time lapse for real. So let's talk about what happened there for a minute. So mid-thread, um, the needle went through a slip part of the pouch and apparently had looped onto itself to create a knot. And oftentimes when this happens, you've yanked on the thread so it's pulled down very, very tight. And the hard part is usually uh, when you pass the needle through multiple slits, this little knot is covered in wax and is just super hard to deal with. So when you're trying to get an idea of what's happening, um, especially from a time lapse, you can't see what, what actually happened. So what happened was the thread went through the slit, got pulled tight, threw down this knot fairly tight. And the last thing you want to do is continue moving forward when you know you have that knot, because this knot is going to end up tearing through the leather over and over, which is going to fatigue the leather fatigue your needle, fatigue your hands, and fatigue the thread. So it's better to stop and take the time to address this little knot and uh, make sure that it opens up. So what I did was I switched to this tool, which is just an awl, and any tapered point would do. If you had a dental pick, that would be fine. But generally, you just need a point that allows you to get inside your threaded portion just enough to pull the loop loose, right? And so it's hard to find the right balance 
but you want to come at it from a different angle and then try and find the opposite loop as well on the back side and just make sure that you get in there I just wiggle it around right if I can pierce it through I will because you're just trying to create enough room to start pushing the thread backwards through itself but this is just a piece of string this isn't the uh, actual pouch part because I wouldn't be able to get this close to the camera to show pulling the thread apart at this level and so once you get everything to open it's really just about pinching gently and you can do the same thing right with your all coming through and making sure that it pulls loose once you get it to the point where your fingertips can handle it, you just want to make sure that you're pulling from the right side and that you're not just making the knot tighter again, okay? So it's worth taking the time to make sure that you're pulling from the right side and that your loops are actually opening because knots in your thread are no fun. So once you get to this point, you want to chase down which side is your needle side and which side is your pouch side, and then draw the needle back through whatever the knot is. Okay, and that's really all you need to know, but perfect little interlude between the time lapse.